strange that we keep running into each other. It is strange. Maybe it means something. I doubt it. It's like rain. Now, whether it's bumping into an old friend or picking up the phone to dial someone, only for their name to pop up on your screen first, weird coincidences happen every day. And according to our next guest, every single one of them can and should be used to improve our lives. Interesting. Psychologist Chris Mackey has written the book all about the benefits of paying close attention to chance encounters. And he joins us live in Melbourne. Good morning, Chris. Thank you for joining us. Um, one of the most common coincidences you've noticed in your research was all to do with clocks. Can you explain that to us? Yes, there are many reports where people have died just at the time when a clock stopped. And so that wow. suggests that there's more of a connection between our inner worlds and our outer worlds. And that's a spooky coincidence. I mentioned at work one time, and Melissa, an admin worker, said that happened when her stepfather died. His clock stopped just at that time, his favourite clock, and it started up again exactly a year the anniversary after he died. Mm, that is weird. You also have a very personal story which led you to believe in the meaningfulness of coincidences and their timing. So tell us about that. Well, this was about number coincidences. So around the time I was dating my wife, Sue, when we were first dating, we experienced a lot of repeated sixes. And that seemed to me, it was like a message where things were meant to be in our, in our relationship. Now, what happened is, it turned out we got engaged at 6 o'clock on the 6th of June, but I hadn't planned that. I'd actually anticipated getting engaged the uh, day before. But then six years later, I was admitted to a psychiatric hospital with depression at 6 o'clock on the 6th of June. And now that's something that you don't plan the timing of that. No. But as difficult as that was, it gave me a sense that there might be some good or some meaning that came from that. And actually, I learned more from going through that depression and, and, and then coming out of it mm. than, than I, I learned from much of my other training or whatever. It turned out to be a very worthwhile learning in life, despite being difficult at the time. Goodness. So how can we pick up on these coincidences and, and use them to improve our lives every day? Well, I think one of the first things is to be open to being open. That helps us be present and aware. Then notice what you notice about the coincidence. What stands out to you? Use your intuition as to what it might mean. Is it nudging you to act in a certain direction? If it is, perhaps act on that. See how it works for you. See how it turns out. And if there's no obvious meaning, if it's a really amazing coincidence, let it sit in the back of your mind because the meaning might become clearer later. Mm -hmm. And Chris, you believe this sort of positive psychology could become far more widespread in your line of work. Why is that? Well, I've seen the way it's helped many clients and when they knew that I was writing a book about, book about synchronicity, they told me more stories. One of the most amazing stories was about how it helped people. It actually saved their lives in the midst of a suicide attempt. For example, mm. one fellow described, last year you mightn't have known how bad I was at that stage, but at one point I was kneeling in front of a window with a pistol in my mouth. Mm. He said, I looked across a tennis court and I saw a blackbird like a raven. It was like it was looking at me. Suddenly, even though I was about to shoot, this raven took off at full pelt, smashed into the window right in front of my nose and fell down dead. And he said, that bird. He thought that bird sacrificed itself for me. I'm meant to live. He booked himself into a rehab program, got off all alcohol and drugs, returned after eight months to full-time work, got married, had a child, and he said that noticing coincidences helps him feel that he's on the right path in life, and that affirmed him in the changes he was making. It's interesting stuff, Chris. Thank you for your time. Synchronicity, empower your life with the gift of coincidences in all good bookstores. And now, if I can mention also, we have Destination Happiness, a well-being TV show, 12 o'clock, Channel 9 at noon on Saturdays. And we get across the principles of positive psychology uh, through that show, Destination Happiness. Appreciate Thank that. You Thank so you, much, Chris. Chris. And if you or anyone you know needs help, we put that Lifeline number up there before 13 11 14.